menos. Yo me adapto si quieren 164. Sinceramente a mí en particular no me gustaría pelear contra un... John Castellanos here. And we're all uh, hearing about this Chavez Jr. Uh, Canelo fight. And in my opinion, you know what? It sounded pretty good. But now we're hearing uh, out of nowhere, fucking Chavez Jr. And uh, and dad, even Chavez Sr. They came out with the fucking in interview out of nowhere. And they, you know, we all know that uh, Chavez uh, Sr. He has... All kinds of connections. He's he's with I don't know what what the thing is, but it's a uh, ESPN. He has those links where, you know what? Every week I uh, I think it's a los golpes or something like that. But he has his show right there. But out of nowhere, I mean, they come out with this stupid ass interview right now, and Chavez Jr. starts it off by saying he can make 164, which is like unheard of. You know, it's fucking crazy, bro. 164 he had they had said that the contract the weight they wanted was 165 Chavez jr. Now accepted a 164 and later on in their interview they Chavez senior makes it clear that it's 165 I'm just saying this stupid at this little interview makes uh, Chavez jr. Look like a joke Straight up. It's a good-ass fight, but These guys are looking hella thirsty, bro. Seriously and uh you know what? I respect Chavez Sr., but goddamn, the lengths Chavez Sr. has gone to make his son look respectable. He's making himself look hella dumb. Seriously? And, um, I don't know. I'm just saying. You know what? It seems like everybody's gunning for Canelo. Straight up. Uh, I mean, Canelo's, he's clearly the A-side. But we know, uh, uh, their main argument with, uh, um, Chavez Sr. is that, uh, they're offering uh, Julio crumbs, and we already know Julio's never in his whole career. He's never been the B side in any any single fight. He's been A side all the way around, and he's been in uh, pay per views. So they're just not used to being the B side. And in this case, they want they probably most likely they're just like Triple G. They want to uh, pretty even split. And for sure, you know, Golden Boys, you know, they're trying to be reasonable with these guys. They're probably trying to give them like a, I'm pretty sure, you know what, they, they're willing to give them like a 40% uh, flat fee, 40% up front, and then zero on the, on the pay-per-view. And I think that's reasonable. You know what? I mean, they're not going to give him more than Triple G. That's for sure. Because you know what? This fight's equally as dangerous for Canelo as a Triple G fight because uh, Chavez Jr., you know what, man? Out of nowhere, Chavez Jr., that's the thing with Chavez Jr. He can come out of nowhere and knock anybody out. He can knock Triple G out. I think, um, I, I think, you know, uh, Chavez Jr. can probably, uh, you know what I'm saying? I think he can, he has a chance to be beat Canelo and Triple G. Both of them. So, you know what? This is a dangerous ass fight for Canelo. And, uh, you know, the fact that, uh, you know, I don't know. This is just this interview. It just sounded kind of fucked up, you know, from the beginning. It, it sounded, it, it was really, it's really, um, it's really, uh, suspicious. It almost seems like the, uh, some, some other type of forces behind this shit. Cause it just doesn't seem like, you know, like the character of Chavez Sr. to be behind this type of thing. And it's like they both got together and it's just like, you know what? It's just like, uh, I don't know. It just seems like uh, they look really thirsty to make this fight. Real, really thirsty. And they're trying to they're trying to use the media to make this fight happen, it seems like. Like they're trying to pressure Canelo. And something that, uh, you know what I mean, uh, Canelo has been accused of doing uh, by Abel Sanchez is the same thing. It's like, uh, let's not use the media to make this fight happen. And you know what I mean? Just a lot of thoughts going back and forth. But, you know, at the same time, it's just like whatever. You know, we see, we know what time it is. You know, the media has been against Golden Boy and, you know, they're just... You know, Tom Loeffler and all them fools, they're doing the same thing. You know what I mean? I, I'm pretty sure I've seen it, man, because, you know, they leave the facts out of the way. And, you know, you know, they're just 
everything's against Canelo at this point. It's just like they just offered Triple G $15 million to do the fight, yet they can't make it happen. You know, whatever. Uh, we know what time it is. but And it ain't going to be any different with Chavez Jr. But at least now, with all this shit, we see how thirsty he is to make the fight. Whatever, dude. You know what I'm saying? Just because you've never been the B-side in any of your career, well, it's time, dude, bro. You've been on the sidelines fucking us, you know, doing your thing out there. But, you know what I'm saying? Now it's like back in the day you would have been the A-side. Now you're the B-side. So, you know, stay in your lane, Chavez Jr. You know how it is. All right, John Castellanos. You know, it's been a long time since I did a video. But, uh, you know what? I'm going to get back in the hang of things. You know, I've been working on my cars, you know.